Corruption never fails to impress, and I've even been asked to build similar tools for others. Okay, it was my mom and father-in-law who asked. But the high point of my career as a weekend MacGyver came... Oh. Hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome, everybody. My name is Bo Junda. I'm your host tonight in this first ever playthrough of Demon Souls. Last time, we explored a bit of Stonefang Tunnel, and then we explored a little bit of the Tower of Latria. Didn't make it that far in the Tower of Latria, although when I was watching the video afterwards, I figured out, I think I know where to go uh, instead. And for Stonefang Tunnel, well, we know where to go, but the enemies are very annoying to fight through. So we're going to take a different, a slightly different strategy for that one. Now, for these two, what I said last time was that we were going to explore uh, both of these areas before we went back to Stonefang. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But first... Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou not? Then touch the demon inside me. Let's go with a little bit more vitality. A little bit more life never hurt anybody. Art thou done? Why don't we jump in and see what the Archstone of the Chieftain is all about. Valley of Defilement. This damn valley is the resting place of those who have been thrown away. Overtaken by poison and plague, the dwellers attack anyone who wanders into the valley hoping to offer souls to the woman who showed compassion. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we find. Oh, this looks lovely. We have what looks like the Pit of Despair. So why don't we travel upwards first and see what we see. Okay, the first thing we see is some weird bird-beaked kind of demon. Wasn't too hard to take down. And let's see, I see more things over there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, there is an enemy near whatever that glowing phenomenon is out there. There's an item over there. I think we'll end up going to get that, but... Uh... Oh, interesting. I'm thinking you need to watch your step around here. This, uh, this is uh, reminding me of Blight Town uh, quite a bit so far. I'm getting that vibe. Does he have any ranged attacks, I wonder? Uh, okay, I see. He can't... Uh... Right. Let's, take a... Let's take a look down here. Use our handy-dandy telescope. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, it's cool that they added like an animation for the scope, but this is not useful. My guy is in the way. This is, uh, this is pathetic. Easy peasy. Hmm. I don't know exactly what he did. I think he I think he threw some stuff at me. Continuing on. Okay. There's a bunch of these guys. I'm probably going to get backed up pretty quick. So, let's do that. Okay, there's a strategy. Uh, this guy will just uh, hip throw him right off. Are you kidding me? This guy's doing all the work just by being there. Unbelievable. Can I go up there? Is there anything to be found up there? Probably not. Probably wrong. Frequently am. Saw you. Anybody else? All right. So how do I get up there? That looks like a bridge. So, oh, and there's an item up there. Okay, we're gonna go back. All right, so we, uh, 
I think we can jump down. Oh, no. I guess we can go here first. Cool. Alright, so what are you? Talisman of God and a Widow's Lotus. That looks like the path forward. Uh, I'm going to go back and get the other shiny. Okay, this time maybe... Ooh. That almost was disastrous. A Morning Star. Cool. Alright. Well, we're just... Wait a minute. And to think, I was just about to reach for my tea. Unknown hero soul. Quite good. Oh. Okay. Well, he can't get me from down there. But what I want to know is, does he have a path to get back up here? Because that's the way I want to go. He does. Let me show you, show you the way. On the edge of life, there's a bright, a burning light on the edge of night. We can tear our worlds apart. Except for this guy, maybe. <laughs> okay, I hear. Before I get surrounded. Okay, we traded. That's okay. Okay, I bet you these guys come to life. I was right. Their reflexes are not the best. This guy could get me through here. But that's only fair because I can do the same thing back to him. Okay, there's a bunch of guys down there. And a ladder to climb down. Uh, this all looks very rickety. I feel like if I walk out onto this, I'm going to fall into the middle of this pit. So let's play this safey safey. And we'll take the ladder. Okay, you're coming after me. Can you take the ladder? Okay. So, the, the enemies in Demon Souls have not been programmed with ladder capabilities. Let's see if I was right about this. Oh, I was. And there are more guys down there. What? How did he get me from... Oh, wait a minute. You're up here. How did you get up here? Did I just not see you? Can, did you actually climb a ladder? Oh wow, there's four of them? Okay, but I need to deal with these guys. Uh, and plunge attacks are not a thing. Let's see if I can hit them from up here. Okay, well, it's not great, but we can whittle them down a little bit. Have to get him into one shot kill range. Oop. Okay, well, that let, let's just pretend that wasn't a complete accident that I fell in. <laughs> I mean, it worked, right? Where does this plank go? Am I gonna regret this? Oh, geez. It looks like a hefty drop. I don't think I want to do that. Now, uh, you know, if I talk to the rest of the uh, uh, the streamer crowd that I've been uh, kind of uh, hanging around with uh, online lately, you know, we're uh, very divided over the use of the shield. 
I am a big proponent of the shield in first run-throughs of these kind of games. Uh, because more often than not, there's something that jumps out at me. And only the fact that I have a shield held up actually saves my ass. Like, I feel like there ought to be a ramp going down here, but uh, there's not. So I think this is the first place where we have a drop of no return. I was going to say, I bet you there's something in here. As soon as I found out you could walk into this haystack, I was just like, no way. No way. I still hear enemies, and they're very close. they got to be in here. So far, this has been mostly one path. Okay. This is a trap if I've ever seen one. What the fork is that? And what just killed itself in my honor? You could all do that if you like. I'm not going to hold it against you. Poisoned. Okay, well, this is why we carry this. Okay. Okay. So, these things don't appear to come after you after you burst all the blood out of them. But the burst does poison you, so we're just going to have to stay on our toes with that. What the? Dragoline, is that you? Who are you? Won't you buy something? My poor child is hungry. And then I could Curses talk about it. I wasted my breath on you. Oh, come Did on, lady. You got, you you got junk and too expensive stuff. Oh. No. Oh. Well, but uh, these things just give you plague, apparently, so... These rats are much smaller than the ones you find in Dark Souls. Those things are massive compared to these. Any others? No, okay. We're cool. Crescent Moongrass, all right. Let's uh, peek over this way. Whoa! Okay. That looks like a guy who wants to kill us. Okay, so... Uh, we have to cross this. They've given us a very small area to fight this guy. Wait, I hear something. I thought a guy dropped down from behind me. Big boy. Come on, big boy. Oh, there is a guy that dropped out. Oh no. Now we're trapped. Run, 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 run. We need to heal. We can take this guy. Gotta get out of here. Oh boy. No, you didn't want, want to face that way. There are a lot of these guys. Did I get them? Yes, okay. It's hard to see here. Shh. 
There were a lot of them. I actually thought I might uh, make it through there. Well, I guess we see. I guess we saw all that we really needed to out of that area. Uh, I'm satisfied for now. So let's head back to the Nexus. Our head hung in defeat. I can't say I'm a huge fan of the place. It, uh, you know, reminds me way too much of Blight Town. And then here's the only other place that I have yet to see, and this is the Archstone of the Shadowman. The island shrine of the shadowmen who worship storms and mourn the dead. Okay. Let's go here next. Shrine of storms. Okay. Hmm. What are you? Oh, you... You remind me of a dark wolf. But you roll a lot more. He also has a face like a... What was his name in Dark Souls 1? The skeleton blacksmith, Vamos. His face is like that. Oh! I guess that would make uh, Vamos a callback to the enemies in this place. Okay, we got another rolly guy. Is he going to do the same thing? Yep. Ooh, they're quick on that. They're not terribly difficult. They give a lot of souls, though. I get the strong suspicion that maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet. Oh, there's another one. And I think there's... Whoop. Yes. Oh, I missed an opportunity for the backstab. Here are you. No, these guys don't stand up to the claymore very well. But you do have to be very careful with them. Oh, how is that not a backstab? Oh boy. Okay, I'm getting backed up. Okay, these guys hit pretty hard, so, okay, and now that we've explored these uh, two other areas, one change in strategy, I think the clay guys that are there, we want to grab our spear, let's put this thing on, let's see if we can offhand it. Not enough skill. We need 12 dexterity. What are we at? 10. So we need two levels to use this effectively. Uh, two dexterity. Find key to life's ether. Okay, now we can use the spear. Thou thou Ishin Ashina style. Let's see if we can power it up too. Claymore 2. Winged Spear 1. Winged Spear 2. Okay, now we have a Winged Spear plus 3. And it does 111 piercing damage. My Claymore does 126 everything damage, I guess. I think that's how you read that. Let's go back to the tunnels now. I think we're ready. <laughs> haven't run into patches yet i mean i'm sure he's in one of these levels uh, a little ways in but um i don't know where
I can't wait to see what kind of trap he's gonna lay down on me. Oh, go find this gemstone. Tee hee hee. Right, we're gonna try out our new weapons. This takes these guys out a lot more quickly. And a lot more economically, too. This guy. Hmm, that guy was a little bit tankier than the others. Oh, you know, I just noticed that these guys seem to have the same scales that uh, that old guy has. Now... Couldn't figure out how to get at this guy last time. And we don't have any, I don't think we have any more projectiles. Because I could come after him, but... Actually, I don't even know if I can come after him. Can I? Yes, I can. I don't know how that didn't hit me. Hero Soul. Nice. Okay, so that's how you get out to this platform. I couldn't see the lone beam that was left over last time because uh, it collapses when you run over it. Oh, no, 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 no! That was close. Okay, we're safe up here. Why don't we do this? Why don't we come back to life? This is where we bit the big one last time. What happened was we tried to go for that shiny down there and I wanted to test and see how close you could get to pick it up. And it turns out that lava in this game is way deadlier than pretty much every other Souls game. I died instantly. So we're not trying that again. I actually want to move forward. Come on, you. Cool. Next fog gate. A hey, two shards of hard stone. Sweet. I can power up the claymore now. There's more items down there, but there is no way that you can survive the lava. That tells me, because there's an item over there and an item over there and an item over here, there has to be a way to drain the lava, or there has to be some ring or something like that that allows you to survive in the lava. Hmm. So this is obviously the way to go. They're not very subtle about it. What's, uh, what's through here? Some mud men doing their mud men work. Wow, these guys are only given three souls. Whoa! That is nine shards of hard stone. Cool. Well, this is a fun little side trip. And more shards. Large ones. Hey, regardless of anything else, I'm glad we went this way. So uh, what else do we got out here? Oh, look at that. We came back outside. So we are above where the arch stone is. 
Now here's a good question. How do we get down there? This is a shortcut. I think we have to go up to get to our next actual stop. So let's see, we have what looks like a furnace. This is a blacksmith. Oh. Hmm. I haven't seen you around these parts. What does it matter? You need a blacksmith, show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. Oh, nice. We can upgrade our claymore. And let's see. Now we need... Oh, man. They really stack on the requirements. So we need eight shards of hard stone. Three more. And we have enough large hard stone shards. Or... What's this? We can... Make it a quality claymore? What are, we, what are each of these for? Okay, so... Claymore plus four, that's just more damage. Quality claymore... Gives me a slightly better stat bonus if I'm higher in dex. But as my dex is not higher right now, I'm gonna crush the claymore. Oh, I see, okay. So that lowers its physical attack, but increases the stat bonus for strength. Makes sense. Dragon claymore turns into a fire claymore. I could do this right now. That would require me to commit to raising my decks along with my strength, but that would give me more weapon options, so it may not be a terrible idea to go quality. What about this one spear? Quality wings with mercury. Fatal. What does the fatal one do? Oh, that looks like it does holy damage. So what does this one do? Uh, poison damage. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I'm busy. I'm not here to chit chat. All done? Let me go. I walk alone. Okay, okay. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm sorry I didn't grace your business. I'm sure I'll be back at some point. So now let's go up. And I want to stop off this one. Okay, so this is a open door now. So let's see. Our next move. I think we've pretty thoroughly covered that area, uh, except for the lava pit, which I don't know what to do with. Our path forward is through that fog here. There. We're going to go back home and return. We're just going to do it uh, just to... Oh, does this recover our life? I don't know. I'm so used to resting at bonfire. Okay, it does. Sweet. How much do we need to Thou seeketh so then... 3,122. <sighs> Lead Demon's Soul. I haven't met anybody yet that transmutes these. I don't know if it works the same way in this game. So, let's just see what happens if you use it. Okay, so that is not the way to get the weapon from a boss soul. Now I know. I was, I was wondering about that. Cool. Okay, so clearly there is somebody that can transmute um, into a boss weapon. At least it's the first boss. Probably wasn't great anyway. Points and endurance. Let's so. be grand. Where do we stop? Only Bo knows. I should know better than to round corners going that fast.
those are exploding barrels. I should, oh, and the staircase up. Okay. Um, luckily, they do not go up without a fire alarm, so we are safe. Okay, so we have a staircase up. We have a path down that leads over to the whoops. Whoa! I don't know how I didn't fall for that. Just good reflexes, I guess. Oh, I see where we are. Uh, we are above the water wheel room. That's a shame. There's like three items over there. I wonder how you get them now. And what's over this way? Uh, lots of guys. And guys that throw rocks. Okay. Tactical situation on this. That's a car. How did I miss that? Alright. Sweet. And what's back here? Steel shield. Okay, before we move on, let's uh, let's take a look at that path behind the exploding barrels. Oh, you know what? I could have dropped down behind this whole gang. I guess I'll just have to remember that for next time. So this way, on where we go. So down there is that lava pit going upwards. I recognize that sound effect. You guys are quite annoying. Might actually kill me. How did you even hit me? Another shark of Dragonstone. Uh, that dog is probably going to find its way up this way. Oh, there he is. Oh, give me a break. Come on. few more of these guys. Hello! Okay. Uh, oh. Didn't see that guy at first. And that guy is not aggressive yet. Another sharp, another stone dump. This is cool. Okay, we can leave that guy alone for a second. Okay, so what does this do? What does this open up that we couldn't get to before? see, said the black. Let's go find out what these items are, because now... Is that an enemy? Oh no, he's a dead enemy. Okay. So that's how you get this stuff. 
guys. You back here. Okay, quick question. This guy was just sitting in the lava. How is this corpse not a charred husk? Ring of poison resistance. Sweet. Yeah, I'll take a shower and wash the stink off. Yeah. And then we can go up this way. down to here. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Do it again. I could barely see him, but I still got it. <laughs> now where are we? And yeah, where does this go? Up. Looks like the lift. And that's a big fog gate. I'm guessing by all the cobwebs that this is going to be something like spider related. Oh yeah, I can actually see it through the fog gate. I see the legs. Okay, so it's a big spider. So here's how we're gonna play this. We're probably going to double hand the claymore for most of it. I am going to try stabbing with the winged spear, see what kind of damage that does. And if it turns out like it does a lot more damage, then you know we'll switch to that. What the? Okay. Don't lock on. Can't dodge. bad place to be. I am so stuck. What is going on here? I can't move at all. Okay, stay away from the walls. That's what I'm worried here. The slowdown effect on the web really surprised me out of the gates. All right, take two. Let's see, what happened last time? We got hit by sticky stuff and failed to dodge right away. And armor spider comes out of the gates with sticky shots. So we gotta be prepared to dodge that. I don't, you can't get too close to either side. 
you just get caught in the webbing and then you can't roll, you can't dodge, you can't do much of anything. So it seems pretty clear that the only real way to fight this thing is up front. Now I don't know what to do about that fire attack that it used. I don't know if that's something you can dodge. I think we're just gonna have to find out. Interesting. Okay, we can't stand there. Okay, not going for the souls right away. Can't move when they, you get hit by that. this okay this is that wait a minute I feel how on earth do you avoid that now let's put our shield back on we're gonna see if we can block some some of this uh, early onslaught instead Well, we don't take any damage, but... using all the, my items like this. get behind him? Probably not. Out of there I wasn't gonna win there was no victory there well we found the boss but we don't know how to deal with the boss he does a lot of damage all of his attacks or half of the attacks slow us down don't know how to deal with that firestorm can't get behind him can we power up our weapon here let's power this up 
Why not? Interesting. Okay, so I no longer have the ability to change it to a quality winged spear after I leveled it up to four. That disappeared. So that means if I want to do... I have a choice to make with a claymore. It's either this or that. Hmm. Let's go back to the Tower of Latria. I think I know the way to go forward here. I forgot about it the first time I was here, but there was actually a locked door around the corner from where you start. And I believe I have the key. And I think that is the way forward. Just over here. Aha. So this is where I was supposed to go. So now we're on the fourth floor. Whoa! Okay, just more of you guys. Look, stay out of my way. We won't have any problems like we did last time. Torture chamber. Poor saps. So here's the gamble I'm taking. If I let them out, is any of them going to... Wait a minute. Prison of Hope? What? Prison of Hope. Ironic. West fourth floor. Ah, you can't get me. You're a big dummy. Go figure. <sighs> Singing in a Souls game of any type is never a good thing. Hands up? Okay. Peace. Fresh spice. It's an already open door. And there are people creeping around. Whoa. Oh, there was another one of these in the last torture chamber. Maybe I could have opened that one too. Assassin gear. Black leather, black gloves, black boots. You know, if we, uh, yeah, if we lower our armor, then we can actually equip a few more things. We still haven't hit it. Nice. All right. Let's roll with this loadout. That was another one of these. Through here. execution attacks this time. More fresh spice. What's that? Someone else coming? I think, yeah, there's definitely someone else down there. Uh, there was another one of these things, another Iron Maiden. 
Oh, this one's alive. And he stuck me. Okay. So, what do we have back here? Keys. The fourth floor key and the cell key. Alright. That also means that we can go back and get that item that was just beyond the door back here. this loot. Besides loot. Man, you know, I feel like this place is just made for a magic user. And this looks like it's the other side of the hallway that I was looking down. Which means that there's a guy right over here. Get closer, get closer. Cool. Those guys offer up a lot of souls. I feel like maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet either. human, aren't you? Where do you call home? Oh, dear me, I shouldn't pry. Oh, perhaps you'd like something from my collection. Well, what do I've you had collect? better days. I was once the wife of royalty, and I have some nice things to show for it. A rapier, wooden catalyst, a buckler, black bolts. What are black bolts? Very short black iron bolt. It pierces deep into the target, dealing massive damage. Ranged attacks require the bolt to crossbow. Yeah. Okay. For a hundred of these? Ring of Av... Ooh, the Ring of Av... Oh, the Ring of Avarice. Fifty grand in souls? Uh, that's uh, something for New Game Plus, seems like. I'm sure you get that many souls by the end of this game, though. It's probably no big deal. Uh, you know what? Let's spend our souls on... Eight of these. No, we can actually... Uh, can we do more? Souls. I have 675 souls. Can I not buy any more? Oh, I hit my item limit. Thank you. Now I can stay here for That's a little right. while longer. That's a thing. So, I cannot carry any more items. So, we're going to need to leave some more stuff at home next chance we get. Before, there were many others trapped here. But they went mad and ventured above of their own volition. Redemption? <laughs> there exists no such thing. The Queen banished her depraved old husband from the land. He returned in strange golden garb with foul demons in tow. They pillaged Great Latria, land of the learned, and locked us in this dungeon. Since then, they've been feeding off our souls, telling us over and over that if we go above, we will be granted redemption. Well, that's quite all right. I wish to stay here, but I need souls to stay sane. Surely you must understand this. Oh, so you're just as bad as the rest of them. Yeah, we have no real way to heal. We used up all of our items. Let's, uh, let's explore a little bit further. Assassin, assassin, assassin. 
assassin. All right. Hmm. You know, I feel like that's probably enough for now. I think uh, this might be a good uh, place to call it quits for the night. So I'm going to head back to the Nexus. Now, what did we accomplish tonight? We got to the next boss in Stonefang Tunnel, the Armor Spider. We haven't figured out how to beat him yet. We may just need to, we need to either get better or we need to get stronger, which I suppose is two ways of saying the same thing, isn't it? Um, we moved forward in the Tower of Latria a little bit. We explored the Shadowlands as well as uh, the other place, uh, the Blight Town looking place. And now we have a, a better idea of what's ahead of us. I think if we had to pick another place to go apart from fighting the Armor Spider, it might actually be to the Shadowlands, because those enemies were not too hard to fight right away. Although I think uh, maybe maybe Proto Blight Town uh, might be uh, a better option. We also uh, powered up our weapons a little bit, so that's nice. We still haven't found anyone to transmute a uh, a boss soul into an actual weapon, so that's that's a little bit of a, a mystery yet. Oh, and we have a shirt that we can wear. So on the whole, we're doing pretty good here.